so today we are summoning for Baizu. The banner uh, dropped yesterday, but uh, with a little twist. We are actually gonna only go for one pity. If we get him, we get him. If we don't, well, we will secure a Chloran next patch. That's how I'm gonna go with this. And yeah, that's about it. We are very low pity. I think I have what? Pity is 10. Pity is 10. So here we go. 20. Farazan, unlucky. 30. 30. Layla, nice. One copy. 40. Double Beidou, didn't need that, but okay. 50. Oh, early again. Okay. It's Dea. Ah, oh, god damn it, man. Uh, okay, I'll give it 20 more pulls because this was like 50, right? And I was uh, willing to go uh, one pity for him. So, like around 80 pulls. Another Gamba? Okay. Just 20 more pulls. This is not it. Especially since the 4 stars are really not interesting to me. And now. Baizu is not meant to be... Okay, one more, one more. Uh, 30, 30, 30. Okay, just 30. It's not meant to be. Unfortunate. Okay, so the 4.7 live stream just ended. And they announced the first phase banner. And it will be Chlorand with Al Haytham. And that is a bit of an issue for me because I already have Al Haytham weapon. And I was planning on getting my guaranteed Chloran and then go on the weapon banner to get her weapon. But since Lofa is coming along with the Chloran weapon, I don't think I'm gonna risk getting potentially two more Lofi on the account. So uh, instead of just getting a guaranteed Chloran with five multis and then sit on like 50k primos for no reason, I think I'm just gonna get Baizu now. I'm at PT40, so in five multis, I should have uh, my guaranteed Baizu. Let's go. If I could get some Leilas, it would be nice, like, because all the others are, as you guys know, C6. Oh, it's early, nice. It's like, we're at 50 right now, 51, 52, 53, 54. 55, 56, 7, 58, 59. So he comes in at 59. Okay, so uh, the main reason I got Baizu on my account was to play him with Kirching in an aggravate team. Uh, so far, I used to play Yao Yao in the Dendro Applier slash Healer slot, but since I'm not the biggest fan of Toddler Impact, I decided to replace her with him. So for this type of team, I ran Baizu with this build. He's at 50k HP with 161% energy recharge, which is a bit low. Uh, as a weapon, he had a TTDS R5. On artifacts, he has Noblesse. These are the pieces. He's at Constellation 0 and Talents are 188. The difference with Yao Yao isn't crazy. It's very similar clear times overall, so I can definitely say that it's a bit more comfy to play. On one hand, Yao Yao can equip the tenacity of the Millilith artifact set and guarantee a plus 20% attack boost at all time. Meanwhile, Baizu can bring TTDS and get that 48% attack buff every 20 seconds. Plus, equipping Noblesse gives the team 20% attack boost. So yeah, uh, to summarize, you can either run uh, Yao Yao, Kirara or Baizu as a Dendro Applier in a catching Aggravate team. It will overall perform similarly. Go with the character you enjoy the most. Where Baizu's value shines is when played in other types of teams. And I have to say, I wasn't expecting him to be that versatile. He has a great synergies with Furina, which opens up a ton of teams to play with. And that's definitely the biggest positive point I felt from adding Baizu to my account. Uh, first, I tried him with this team, Sino, Fischl and Furina. So my Fischl is on a Golden Troop. Um, my Furina is a C0, uh, also on Golden Troop. And my Sino is uh, rocking a Jade Wing Spear. 
and uh, on uh, Marais Chaussée because of the Furina uh, synergies, double crown. And uh, yeah, I played this team and um, let me tell you that this was way more comfortable than my previous experiences uh, with Sino before uh, getting Baizu. So before it was always kind of a puzzle to run a Sino team. You need a shielder, but you can't put a healer then because uh, otherwise the DPS loss would be way too big or you could run a healer and a shielder but get Fischl out of the team which puts Sino in a tricky spot in terms of energy generation and getting his burst on cooldown and, and so on. You, you, you see what I mean? Like it always felt like you had to make a concession in order to play Sino in terms of team building. But now thanks to role compression with Baizu, um, I don't think it's perfect, but it's way more easy to run Sino teams. Baizu provides Dendro application and healing. And despite his shield being almost non-existent, it's still good enough to tank few hits here and there. So yeah, overall, less of a headache to run Sino teams. Is it enough to unbench him and play him all the time? I'm not sure about that. But all jokes aside, uh, we'll see in the future abysses, because this one makes Sino only viable on the first chamber, which is a bit annoying. The other team I tried was another Furina variation, but this time with one of my favorite DPS units, Al Haytham. Before, I used to run him with uh, Shinxiao, Kuki, and Dendro MC. So not the most optimal team out there, but still very solid and still cleared with ease all the abysses I played Al Haytham in. Um, but with this team though, I have to say, Al Haytham seems stronger, my clears were faster. Uh, but what made me really happy is that I can finally bench Cookie. Oh, Cookie. I could dedicate an entire video about how I dislike her kit and the way she functions. The amount of times I died because I had to swap on her to press E and go back to Al Haytham. I could rant for hours about how getting a healer should bring comfort to a team and not discomfort. Especially against certain type of content like Corrosion for example. But yeah, having Raiden now on a full EM build, uh, Farina as an off-field DPS slash Hydro Applier slash Buffer and Baizu as a healer and then draw Applier makes this core insanely strong and Al Haytham just destroy everything that you throw at him. So yeah, uh, just to show the builds real quick, as you can see, Raiden is on full EM build, yeah, on uh, Gilded. Uh, Farina is still on Golden Troop, and my Al Haytham, instead of running a Dendro uh, Goblet, is running an Attack Ascent Goblet, and that's basically the only difference. And by the way, uh, for Sino and Al Haytham team, you guys guessed it, I had to swap my Baisu build, so I ran him with this instead. Um, the weapon is now a prototype Amber R5. He is at 41k HP with 183% energy recharge. My um, Deepwood artifact set is not as optimized um, because I didn't really farm it at the time for like a, a, a healer with ER and HP. So my pieces are very underwhelming and maybe I'll have to uh, go back and do some runs in that domain to get a better artifact set. Um, but yeah, uh, this was my build for both Sino and Al Haytham teams. And that's it for my testing so far. In the future, I think I'm going to double crown him for sure and try out more teams. I'm wondering if um, I should run him in a double Hydro team, something like Furina, Yelan and uh, Raiden, full EM. And him as a driver could be fun to play, but that would mean that I'll have to uh, level his auto attacks up and uh, that's, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to leave a like. And if you have any suggestion or if you think I missed something, don't hesitate to comment below. I'll be seeing you in the next video, which will be my Chlorine summons on Wednesday. So make sure to subscribe to the channel do not miss that. I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.